Hello, today I'm going to demonstrate how to utilize our little idler shaft mount that works with all of our robot wheels and or skate wheels. Skate wheels you can pick up at obviously any skate shop or you can pick them up at various stores. We sell them on our website um, in various colors and different diameters uh, as long, along with uh, drive mechanisms for it as well. So, but these wheels here, uh, we sell them without the ball bearings and so if you do utilize this little part or want to build uh, an idler system, make sure you pick up, the, uh, pick up a pair of ball bearings for any size of wheels. So, but anyway, this little part here is extremely versatile. It allows you to do many different things, obviously non-drive uh, type setup. And so, but I'm going to demonstrate it, a mounted on a piece of channel and mounted on just a few other components along with our beams. So one of the easiest ways to mount obviously here's a piece of channel you've got multiple holes you can choose from so we're going to mount it in this hole right here or actually you know what we'll mount it up here at the top here in the corner run it through both ends are tapped as you can see here one end has a little lip on it allows it to run on the race of the ball bearing so we'll go ahead and put that on and these are sold in little packs a uh, little kit along with the wash and the little the number six washer as well as the number 632 by quarter socket head cap screw tighten that on there you go very cool little little setup can easily roll obviously extremely smooth um, you can see there it can also got a little bit of a uh, distance there below the bottom of the channel if you want to build something with a really low center of gravity you could certainly you could certainly do that as well or you can mount any of our larger diameter wheels so next we're going to show mounted in the center of the channel with one of our some of our little channel center washers I don't know if that's the exact name but on the page here that this video is on they'll give a parts list so anyway these these are really cool little washer you can see here hopefully you can see they've got a little bit of lip on them one goes on the outside you know what we're gonna mount this on this side here one goes on the inside of the channel one goes on the outside of the channel Use a little bit longer screw, goes through just like that. Go ahead and screw that in. Tighten that up. Once again, there you go. Got an easy way to build a idling robot wheel, I guess you'd say, or work great for building uh, uh, dollies for photography, things like that. Really, really versatile. Next, I'm going to show you how to mount it on the end of a channel, which when we're building things, we do this a lot, uh, just because it's, it allows you to build a long wheelbase, or I should say not a wheelbase, but track, um, wide track, because you can get up to a 24 inch length piece of channel, so you can build something with a two foot wide, or actually a little over two foot wide track. We're going to use our little, one of our little quad hub mounts here. Screw this in. Tighten that down. Nice thing about this little quad mount is that it goes flush with the very end of the channel. So now what we're going to do is same thing here. We've got two of our little, little washers, a little longer screw. They come in the back side here, like so. Anything with a half inch hole you're able to utilize these washers, tighten that down, and now got a really cool little drive wheel on the end of a piece of channel. And in another video, we're going to show you how to mount it, mount them on tubing, which really opens up the the uh, the uh, various design design things you can you can create so very very versatile um, as well as what's also pretty cool is you can take this off and screw it here quickly and you can put them on the sides of the channel as well so you can you can mount it on this side I won't put the screws all the way in, but you can easily see now how you could how you could mount it, mount it um, right on the side of the channel. So, and we have different versions of these in 
these uh, quad mounts as well. Obviously, you've got them that will. Uh, we can also mount one of these versions as well. You can put both washers in. Like I said, anything that has a half inch hole, you can utilize our, our little uh, channel washers here and mount wheels. So one of the coolest aspects too is our, are our beams, because you can do, do just about anything with all these beams that we offer. You can mount them and all of our different beam attachments. So now you can build a robot that has, you know, different um, turning mechanisms, things like that. Very, very versatile. The beams are extremely stout. And, um, and this, this little part, as I said, and I'll say it one last time, can be mounted on just about any of our Actobotic, Actobotics components. Um, allows you to put a freewheel on it.